Welcome to Excel Magic number 467. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic 466 to 471. Hey, in this trick, uh, we're going to see how to do conditional formatting so that we can highlight every third row. And we're going to do two different formulas. Um, one that will work if you always start in row one, and another one that will work in any range, anywhere in the uh, spreadsheet. Now in our last video, 466, we saw how to add every other row. One formula for ranges that start in row 1 and another a slightly amended formula for any range. Let's go ahead and highlight this do Highlight this column and do conditional formatting. Click on the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut instead of this right here, new rule. That's how you do it in 2007. Alt O D. Alt O D. That works in all versions. New rule. I'm going to click on formula and click right here. We'll build our formula. In earlier versions, you have to click on that text box and it says is uh, is formula. If I, my memory is correct. Active cell right there is helps us when we build our formula because we have to build our formula from the point of view of that cell because in memory it will be copied down. I'm going to say equals mod. Remember in our last video mod gives us a remainder and then I'll say row comma and I want to link this so I can have this as dynamic. So there it is. Um, taking Mod function takes whatever row we're in dividing by three and gives us the remainder. Now, what do we have to do? Since what we want is 3 divided by 3 is 0, 6 divided by 3 is 0, meaning the remainder is 0, we have to amend this and say equals 0. I'm going to add some formatting. Say something like that. That red has a dark value, so I'm going to use font color white. Click OK, click OK. So now if I change this to 5, Every fifth value will be highlighted. Now we have to use a slightly different uh, formula here. And I'm going to build this one here. And we can see how it works. Mod. And I'm just going to use rows. And I'm rows of um, C7. So I'm, I have to say C dollar sign to lock the row reference. Colon, colon C7. Right now what this will do, rows is an inc number incrementer. How many rows between 7 and 7? 1. When it gets down here, this one's locked, this one's not. So it says 7 to 8, that'll be 2. So this increments the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. inside of our formula. We say uh, the divisor is always going to be this, F4, lock it going down, and then equals 0. This will give us our true falses. Right? So, oh, the fifth one. Oh, the fifth one, even though the, our other formula would have given us 16 divided by 5 is remainder 1. I'm just going to uh, copy this, Control C, highlight this range, Control Shift Down Arrow, Alt O D, new rule, click right there, Control V, format, I'll say fill red font. Okay, and so now if we change this here to 2, sure enough, both formulas work just fine. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.